Hi guys, if you're already subscribed, thanks. If not, then please hit the subscribe button, we really appreciate it. Today we're featuring Tyrant Terminator Audits, he does a great job so head over to his channel via the link in the description and get subscribed. Thanks guys. Okay. How you doing? Oh, all right. What's, why you, what you doing with the camera? Oh, just, just documenting today. Huh? Just you documenting. Can't, you can't record, yeah. I'm sorry, man. I'm just from around, just coming in. Just the housing authority, right? But you can't record. I'm pretty sure I can. Stop recording stuff out. Well, I just well the thing is I have I want to be able to record in public first thing and then I got to follow for you with this department so right but I'm actually here for two. But you can't you can't record here so you got to cut that off, bro. They I, they miss, they misinform me. You can't. Huh? That's it. Legally we can't. That's a law. We can't. Legally you can't. Like you got to. I'm, I'm, out, what's your name, sir? Huh? What's your name? You don't need my name, bro. But you got to go out. Well, I got I got official business here. You can't. As long as you're recording, that's what I'm saying. You can't what? have a phone on with it. I, all the signs say no. Phone. Yeah, I see. I see the signs that say uh, use of cell phones. Are, right. So, so they mean like if you're talking on them. I mean, right. Okay. Could you just step out, bro? Because you're still recording. That's all I'm asking you to do. I will once I conduct my business. You can't do no business. Ain't nobody gonna help you in here, bro. With they the definitely, phone. they definitely gonna help me. They, so, so is a manager here somebody I can talk to of a higher authority? Not until you put your phone away, sir. We asked them to leave, so we won't leave. So we want them to get someone to come now. Oh wow. Yeah, I see, but they're talking about that's like if you want to call somebody. But obviously, that's for a phone call. It's not saying about recording because you we have a legal. That's correct. But yet still, we have a right to do it. Well, I'll, I'll, if you're gonna be rude, then yeah, she just waved me off. That was rude. Yes, she did. It's on camera. We have a right to do it. Well, I'll, I'll, if you're going to be rude, then we have a right to do it. Well, I'll, I'll, if you're going to be rude, then that's why she ain't disputing it. I mean, I, I understand that. But what I'm trying to tell you is we have a we have a right to do it. I'm not going to get anybody's personal information. We're asking you to leave. Sure, maybe this young man is, I'm not sure who he's calling, but uh, all right. Did you call your boss? Hey, bro, I don't want to be recorded, so right. stop talking to me. Okay. I work for security, not housing authority. Shit. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, at least as long as y'all don't talk to me no more, then we, we, we can keep it that way. So obviously, they probably called the police or some man and. Hopefully, once they get here, they'll educate everybody here. So it looks like they have showed up. Security is gonna go out and try to kind of confront them first. And I, I ain't talking to you, my man. I wasn't even talking to you. How you doing, officer? <laughs> He's Nothing's really going on. Here, can I of course, I'm going to record. I'm going to continue. Yeah, what are you talking about? I encourage you. Hey, thank you. <laughs> exactly. What's going Officer on? Curtis, Curtis, it is, right? Yeah. Uh, what's your badge number, sir? 130. 130. Appreciate that. So, uh, like I was trying to convey to everybody here, uh, what, I'm, what I'm here to do is two things. The first thing I want to do is exercise my First Amendment right just to record in public, making, making no efforts to go anywhere private, just staying in the lobby. Uh, I conveyed that they're not interested. Second thing I need to do is file a FOIA with this department. Okay. So I do this all over everywhere. I know precisely what I'm doing. They just don't know and they're not informed. So I was like, hopefully when um, the police do arrive, you okay. guys can educate everybody here that what I'm doing is, well, uh, is definitely okay. legal. So first off, recording, that's fine. I'm recording. Of this. course. No big deal. Of course. Here's the thing though. If they say that you cannot be on the property, you do have to leave the property. Right. Second off, if you do want to do a FOIA request and they are not saying that they are willing to help you right now. Uh, I see you have an iPhone, so you have the internet on there. Google Cook County Housing Authority. Maybe you need to speak to a higher up, say, hey, I went to your location at 1710 East End Avenue. I was attempting to do a FOIA request. They refused to service me. 
how can I go about doing it? Can I speak to someone that's in charge? A actually, someone's a supervisor uh, is actually on site here. So okay. I, I, so that'll be great if I can even talk to one now here. Okay. So I mean, if they tell me, if they tell me face to face, we're not going to accept your FOIA or for you to even file one because you're recorded, that, that's all I would need. That's a di direct violation of my rights. That's cool. Okay. I'll, I'll be out of here, uh, but. Okay, I mean, again, it sounds like right now they don't want you on the property. So here, just wait here. I'm gonna go talk to them, see what's going well, on. Well, I'm not, yeah, I'm not trespassed. If, so, I mean. Well, it, if you were, if you refuse to leave from inside of here, then it is trespassing. Well, well Officer Curtis, to be all, be, all, be all the way honest with you, yeah, only way I can be trespassed from here is if I commit a crime. I haven't committed a crime. No, you're trespassing if you remain on the property when they've asked you to, to leave multiple times. Regardless Absolutely not. if you're committing a crime. You, I got, you, so, so, so to be perfectly honest, I can say, if you say you wasn't in your uniform, just a regular person. Okay. I can say, Mr. Curtis, uh, you you got on um, air walks today. We, you trespass. Is that you, you can't do that. <laughs> well, it, you don't have to be committing a crime in order to trespass. So, I, I, I again, I don't know. You, I'm assuming you have a residence somewhere you live. If I came onto your property and I said, I'm not committing any crimes, but I'm not going to leave your property. You're talking about private property, right? This is this public. This is private This property. is public property, sir. Okay. You, you know that, Officer Curtis. Okay. This is public. Okay. Well, so, you know, I'm, we don't want we don't want this thing escalated. It, it, okay. It'll look great for you and your department if you go in there and just educate them. What I'm doing is protected by the Constitution. Okay. Something you swore to, sir. Okay. All right. Hey, if you could just wait out here. Well, if I'm not trespassing, well, I'm going to come back in. If you could just wait out here, so that way there's no going back and forth. Oh, I'm not going to say like, anything. I'm just no, going to stay in the lobby. Just wait out here because they don't want you in here. Sir, I'm going to come back in because I, I have a right to. Okay. All right. You just stay out here. Sir, if I, if I have to. Dude, I, I'm not going to tell call you your, again. Call your sergeant. I see you can escalate this. Call, okay. Can you call somebody for supervisor? Because okay. you can escalate this. Okay. You trying to you trying to aid them and trying to trample on my rights. So we're going to go with it. We gonna go with that. It's crazy, man. How you doing, officer? I'm on, sir. Yeah, pretty good. What's your name, badge number, sir? Appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Um, I'm talking to Officer Curtis here. The same thing I was just trying to explain to him. What we're doing today is we're just exercising our right to record in public. Okay. Uh, that's the first thing that I need to do and file a yeah, FOIA request. Call, so that's all I'm here to do. Nothing to file 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 with this file. department. That's it. And everybody here doesn't know the rights we have. I can understand that, but. We just don't want them trampling on today, officer. What's your name, officer? Officer Paul. Paul, appreciate that. Okay, uh, they said that if you would like to do a FOIA request, uh -huh. you would have to go on their, uh, like, the Cook County website or something. Yeah, I know that's a way that you can, but yeah. I can do it in person, too. But they're saying that they, you are not, one, they have signs up that says use of cell phones in this area prohibited. Yeah, that's I know. That's one of the issues is what, you know, you having your phone out and stuff like that. They have signs up that says that they don't want that. Okay. And like I said, this, they, you can trespass here. I know you think you can't, but you can. Of you course can, you can, can if you're committing a crime, Curtis. What I'm saying is I'm not committing a crime to be trespassed. Okay, I'm but, here for official business. Well, they're saying that you're acting disorderly. In there. Oh, well, I can show you. The, you want me to show you the video? Well, so I you can, can thoroughly what, investigate it? What you might consider not disorderly, they might consider. Well, well my, I, I'm glad you brought that up because we might have two different pers uh, perspectives, perspectives. On, on, dis on disturbing and disorderly. But yeah. what the law say is what we got to follow. So if the law says I'm not disorderly, no matter who says it. Okay, but so, they don't want you in the lobby. They don't want you on the property. Well, I mean, maybe they don't, but I have a right to be here. I mean, if they're gonna, okay. if they're gonna infringe on that right, then that's another thing. Okay, well, my supervisor's coming. Okay. Like, you, you asked for him, so. Yeah, for sure. It's a sergeant, right? It is a Okay, sergeant. great. But we'll just go from there. Okay. Because you're trying to, it seems like you're trying to escalate it, Officer Curtis. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I am not trying to escalate it. It seems like it. You swore an oath to the Constitution and you ain't upholding it right now. I haven't my voice at you well i mean you turned around you turned around real aggressive like dude like when i was getting ready to walk in <laughs> well, really close up on me and i was kept telling you to stay out here well so i was trying I to go back into i just trying to go back into a public building where i have a right to be and you stopped me from doing that how you doing sarge um i know he probably briefed you real quick but uh the thing is um I'm here to, to do the two things. My first okay. thing for being here is to uh, exercise my First Amendment right by recording in public. Okay. Uh, it's real small in there, so there's not too many things on the wall for me to get. I've done with that. Uh, the second thing I need to do is file a FOIA, which is an additional right. Uh, the get, the, get the paper, nothing cut you off. Mm -hmm. you get the paperwork for the FOIA or no? I, I, You know what? Didn't even get a chance to get to that. They called you guys right what's away. The, uh, what's the issue with them, with Cook County? I'm not really sure. Um, I just no. want to come in. I'm, I'm sorry. What's your issue with them? Like, what are you trying to FOIA? I'm just general information about this department. 
about Cook County Housing Authority? Correct. Just general just information. Like this one itself or all Cook County Housing? So it'll be, yeah, of course, it'll, be, it'll cover the whole county of Cook, for sure. You're probably better off and quicker doing the one in Chicago then, where their main office is at. I understand, but better I understand, but I see that it is a central management office and we can do it, you know, we can do it here. He was telling me that I can go online, which I know I can, but we can also do it in person. But I would, if it was me, not speaking as a cop, speaking as man to man, I'd go to the one in Chicago. If I was I trying to get down to it, it's, they have a lot more resources there. Right. And a lot of people are, a lot of people are better off handling that. Like, uh, I know, but you know, this is the only thing, like if I fill out a FOIA here, all they would have to do is forward it to their public information office. That's that's all they have, that's, but they have to accept it here. They have to, other than that, it's a violation of my rights. So here's the thing, James, they have no problem with you filing the paperwork. Do you have the paperwork on you or do you got to download that or print it out? Or yeah, they got it on their website where they can fill it out. And even if they don't, I can fill it out on a blank sheet. Do you have access? They, they can't, I guess, they said you have access to it. I'm, I'm, this whole thing is new to me too. Right? Really? They just, they told you I have access to it? Do you have access to it? I'm, I'm asking you. Absolutely not. That's why I say if I have to, to, I have, like to, library or I have to file go? it on a blank sheet of paper. Yeah. Can you get that from Chicago or no? No. Do you have any way of I'm, I'm already right here, sorry. Yeah, I'm already here. I'd rather do it here. Going there, they with the cell phone. So their, their policy and their rules are you can't have a cell phone there, I'm, I'm so a, if you put it up, they have no problem with you going in there and, and doing that. So, so, so they will allow me to file the FOIA if I surrender my rights. They just put the phone up. That's all they said. Well, oh, okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what it's going to sound like. Well, their policy is that if you can't have cell phones. That's their rules. I, 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 we got rules too. We got to follow too. We got to buy by them. I, I understand they have a rule, but I, I have rights. Launch the phone up. They let you. In. They rules don't supersede my rights. Okay, well, then the other route's gonna be if you go in there again, don't sign complaints for trespassing. For, for, for what crime though? For trespassing. You're crime under, is. You're, they, you're causing a disturbance in there possibly. Listen, I wasn't here days before. Like in the new. Okay, so Sergeant, you want me to show you the video? So because if they're lying to you. Yeah, oh, okay. So y'all, y'all, y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna pause this real quick and show the sergeant that. Uh, the disturbance they're claiming is a lie. A few minutes later. Um, they just don't want you back there, in there with the cell phone, okay? Now, if you go back in there because you've been told to leave once, that's considered trespassing. You come back in there with the phone out. They don't want you in there. They told you once to leave, okay? Real they, they, they are allowing you back in there. Now, I talked to the lady behind her desk. She isn't allowing you back in there to put the phone on. So that's, so that's my thing. So in order for me to conduct a right, I have to surrender why, why another Why couldn't you just put the phone in your pocket and have an Be audio recording? Because I'm because that's surrendering my rights, sir. We got to stand up for what we believe in. Oh, I hear you, but the it, rules are you can't have the phone in there. And they, they know and I understand the rule, but it's not. it don't supersede our rights. Well, but that's a place of business. What, like said, what, but this is a public building. This is public it's, property. It's a place of business, though. It's like a police department. Okay. Public building, but it's still a place of business in a police department. That's why we, that's we don't allow cell phones in there either. You, you can't come in this well, you, well, you definitely can yeah. record in a police department. I do it all the time. We have phones in our thing. You can't record. You can't, you know. We have cameras all over the place there, so you are being recorded in a police department. That's obviously. correct. That's what I'm saying. So, And if that's the same cameras, thing right here. We have cameras in there, too, recording everything. And So do that make sense? I get what you're getting at. Come on, I'm trying me. to help you out the best I can. You want information? All you do is put the phone up, you get the information, and walk out. I don't want to surrender my rights. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go handle my business, sir. I, I gotta go take care of my business. I can't just stand around. All I understand. Day. I gotta take care of what I gotta take care. Of. Give me a second, okay? Me so, so am I being detained here? Just talking. Oh, all of a sudden, you say give me a second. I'm just letting you know what I'm gonna okay. do. I'm talking to them really quick. Let me. I'll talk to you in a second, James. Okay. 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 So I'm good to go, officers. I'm... Huh? Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure, man. Well, here's the thing. They're probably not going to help you because you got your phone. I mean, if they don't, I, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Officer Curtis. I'm going to be perfectly honest with all you officers here. If I go back in there with my phone and say I need to file a FOIA, and they say we're not going to do it because you're on your... I'm leaving immediately because now I have the standing that they're refusing my right. So, yeah, I'm, just, I'm here to file a FOIA. So, so as we explained, that unfortunately we will not be able to service you while you're recording in our lobby. Okay, so you won't let me file a FOIA unless I'm recording. Well, Just trying to make sure, and then I'll leave. Is that what you're telling me? I'm saying that we won't service you, sir, while you're recording in the lobby. Okay, okay. That, 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 that's that's all I would need. That's a direct violation of my rights. So we'll just go from there. One out the bill. Yeah. Ain't nothing they can do, man. I told you, player. <laughs> nothing they can do. <laughs> you called them for no reason. Thanks for watching, guys. There's much more to this story. It didn't end there. So please, follow the link in the description to see the full unedited video. It's well worth it.
Also, get subscribed to the Tyrant Terminator Audits channel and give him the credit he deserves.